leaving for a family visit that's become an all too familiar part of life. Suha Jarar and her father Ghassan are heading to an Israeli military court. Suha's mother, activist and politician Khalida Jarar, was arrested eight days ago. The Israeli army says she was involved in terrorist activity. I am of course worried that she's going to be there for a while because technically they could detain her for a long time if they want to, not because they have the right but because they can. Khalida Jarar is a member of the dormant Palestinian parliament and a leading figure in the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, a leftist party banned as a terror group by Israel. Last year she was released after a 15-month prison term, convicted of incitement and breaking travel restrictions. On Monday she was back in a military courtroom. Everything is good, my health is fine, she told her husband and daughter. She's still subject to a suspended sentence, but rather than charge her with a crime which could see that enforced, the prosecution is instead exploring the option of keeping her in prison without any charge. During the course of the 45-minute hearing, the judge decided that Ms. Jara's detention should be extended by 48 hours, during which time the military area commander would look into secret files and decide whether to seek administrative detention, that is, detention without charge. Her lawyer says it's part of a wider policy of targeting Palestinian lawmakers, 11 of whom are currently in detention. The fact that these uh, people were elected and they are acting uh, and they are like promoting the rights, uh, the basic rights of the Palestinian people, this is the main reason for their arrest. And it's in order to affect the whole political life of the Palestinian people. It's certainly not a new phenomenon. At one point after the 2006 elections, 50 of the Legislative Council's 132 members were in detention at the same time. The Israeli military told Al Jazeera that in this case, Khalida Jarar had, since her release, returned to her activity in the PFLP terror organization. She was apprehended for her involvement in the PFLP and not because of her membership in the Legislative Council. Within the next 10 days, the judge will have to decide whether to free her or to sentence her to detention without charge over unspecified security concerns. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, offer military prison in the occupied West Bank.